Did the 2017 world record lightning strike prove the Earth is flat? Stick around. In the news very recently, scientists have discovered that a world record lightning strike from 2017 stretched 515 miles across three states. And again, scientists have confirmed the longest lightning bolt ever recorded was a jaw-dropping 829 kilometers or 515 miles. And what was once thought to be multiple flashes turned out to be one continuous strike blazing horizontally across the sky. Hmm, horizontally. A lightning bolt that stretched from Texas to Missouri now confirmed to be the longest ever recorded. The lightning flash spanned 515 miles from the Dallas area to Kansas City. Now, this was in 2017, but scientists with the World Meteorological Organization were just able to confirm its full scale. Scientists just able to find out its full scale. Well, let's hear not from scientists, but the scientist that discovered it. Hey, what is your new record and what date was that actually measured from? Yeah, we actually found a new record for the largest horizontal lightning flash ever recorded. Um, this one is now 829 kilometers from end to end, which is 515 miles. There's that word again, horizontal. They keep saying it's horizontal, you know, horizontal as in a flat plane. And when you ask Google how much curvature there is in a distance of 515 miles, which is the length of the supposed lightning strike, well, it's eight inches per mile squared, and you do the math, 515 times 515 times eight, and then you divide by 12 to get the amount of feet, and you get that as your amount of feet. And when you convert it to miles, you get 33.488, which one, makes me actually question if it's a real lightning bolt and they're just mocking us, but two, how does a horizontal lightning strike managed to curve around 33 miles of the earth. Those two don't match up. And when you round the distance down to 176, it literally is 33.333. So I question if the whole thing is real and they're just mocking us. But nonetheless, let's pretend it's a real lightning strike. A lightning bolt that, from the horse's mouth, calls it horizontal. We actually found a new record for the largest horizontal lightning Horizontal. And I know some of your brains are short-circuiting right now, saying, well, yeah, it's horizontal in comparison to the surface of the Earth. Well, no, lightning cannot curve around the Earth's curvature. It literally says it follows the path of least resistance through the air, which is often a jagged or unbranched path due to the ionization of the air. While lightning can travel long distances, it doesn't have the ability to bend around the curvature of the Earth. So how in the world can a lightning strike stretch 515 miles across three states where the Earth would literally have a curvature of 33 miles and still be called horizontal? Now, in my opinion, there's only two possible answers here. Either this didn't occur, and for whatever reason, they're making it up. I don't understand why they ever would. Or it did occur and the earth is flat. That's up for you to decide. But what I know is that every time I have ever gone to see something in the distance that I am not supposed to see, like the Chicago skyline from 55 miles away, it's there, clear as day. And every time I've ever looked at water, whether in a glass or in a lake or in an ocean, it's always flat because water is always flat. It's why they use water in levels. But of course, all this for entertainment purposes, I'm sure that even though even Google says lightning can't curve and they call it horizontal, somehow a horizontal lightning bolt also curved 33 miles. And this has just been for your entertainment. I do this to confuse you. I'm not really trying to expose all the lies in the media and the school books and the TV and all the people in the white lab coats that are in on it as well. Not all of them. A lot of them are just indoctrinated like most of you, but you get the point. Entertainment only, though, of course, I'm a satire, and yeah, sure. It stretched 515 miles and curved magically around 33, and that there's that number, 33, so you make your mind up. Have a good day.